Our goal is to use the index function to look up Aspen to get the correct row, and then the month to get the correct column to look up the intersecting value and bring it back to the cell. <laughs> The index function has two different uses. When we have a single table of lookup values, we use the first occurrence. In the array argument, we highlight all of the values we potentially want to go and get and bring back to the cell, comma, the row number. That means from this two-way lookup, we have to pick the correct row number. At the head of the table, we have the names of our products. Because index needs an actual number for row number, we use the lookup function match. Match has a lookup value. That's the product, comma. Match will look for this product in that range and report the relative position, 1, 2, 3, 4. In our case, that's perfect. That's the fourth row, comma. We're doing exact match because we're trying to find exactly those characters in that range. So I put a 0, close parentheses. In the row number argument of index, we have our match. If I hit the evaluation key F9, we can see, sure enough, it's reporting the correct relative position or row number of 4. Control Z, and now we do the same thing for the column number. We use match, and we look up the month, comma, and just the month names. Now, if you watch last video, we had to include the first column because the entire table was the lookup table in VLOOKUP. But in index, it's only that inside blue table that contains the values for index to go and retrieve, comma, zero, close parentheses. And now we have column number, row number, both delivered by match. And those are the values to look up and return close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, index and match match, found the correct row and column, and returned the intersecting value to the cell. If I type quad and Enter, index and match, returned the correct intersecting two-way lookup value to the cell.